After making us wait for almost an entire year, Motorola has finally decided to release Android 7.1.1 Nougat for their Motorola X Play. So this is the Moto X Play and this upgrade is coming from Android 6. So this one is running Android Marshmallow. So let's go ahead and update this phone. The download size is about 700 megabytes. So there you go. Now you can see the system update is being downloaded to the phone. And now we'll wait. Alright, so once the downloading process finishes, you'll get this message, install system update. And it should take around 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and install this. Uh, your phone will restart in 5 seconds. Alright, that's new. So we all know that Motorola now belongs to Lenovo, so they've changed the startup screen. Alright, so I've given a few minutes for the phone to settle down and immediately after the update is complete your phone will run a little bit sluggish the phone will get hot you don't have to worry about that just give it 15 to 20 minutes just plug your phone in into the charger and just leave it as it is and after a few minutes your phone will settle down and start running normally so in this video i will try and show you all the new features that android nougat brings to motorola x play and i might not be able to cover all the features so i apologize for that in advance but first, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. So this is new. This wasn't there before. Scroll down, About Phone. And you can see software version Android 7.1.1, Android Nougat. Really nice. And our security patch level is 1st September 2017, which is not bad for such an old phone because I remember I bought this phone in 2015. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our home screen this is the Google now launcher it is exactly the same as it was before but there's a new feature here called app shortcuts now what app shortcuts does is it will give you a context menu if you long press an icon so for example if I long press chrome icon you can see I get these uh, new context menu now this is uh, now this will make your work a little bit easier because you get direct access so for example if you want to open a new incognito tab first you have to go ahead and launch chrome then press this little bar over here and then uh, go to incognito tab but now with those app shortcuts you can quickly go to an incognito tab just long press the chrome icon tap on incognito tab and there you go it is that simple and that easy and unfortunately this does not work for each and every app you'll need compatible uh, apps for example nothing works for Instagram nothing works for gallery let's try okay, so Play Store you can see my apps you'll get something for messages so there you go a uh, few of your recent messages and you can directly uh, start a new conversation so I can now directly open my messages pretty neat huh and I think for contacts you can add a new contact directly again makes your work a little bit easier and if you have contacts on your desktop you don't have to open the contact app and you add new contact you can just long press add a new contact very easy and very intuitive I like this split screen multitasking is another feature of Android Nougat now let me just demonstrate that for example let's open up messages let's open Chrome web browser let's open a tab let's go to GSM Arena now say you want to read a message and you want to web browse the web just press and hold this recent key and there you go now you can use two applications at once I think this is pretty useful because you can copy text from your web browser and onto a second app let's quit that and see if it works for Instagram 
there you go it does not work for Instagram like I said you need supported apps for this feature now Google Chrome on Android Nougat allows you to view two tabs at the same time so you can view two web pages so let's activate that feature let's go ahead and open another tab now press and hold the multitasking key now you can close all of these apps and then press that button and tap on move to another window now you can view two web pages at the same time app switching is also easier on android nougat now let's launch two apps instagram and chrome now say you want to switch between instagram and chrome you just double tap this recents button there you go now you're in instagram double tap and then you're back in chrome now say i'm using snapseed and i'm using instagram now i want to switch between instagram and snapseed double tap there you go very easy and this might come in handy if you're texting someone and you're taking a look at some pictures or browsing the web switching between two apps is very easy with android nougat you also get a set of new emojis as you can see okay so check this out guys if you long press the power button earlier you used to get only power off option now you get restart and emergency option now i haven't tried emergency but restart works quite well all right let's go back to the settings and go to display there are a couple of new features in the display sub menu so here we have display size now by default it will be set to default medium and you can make it smaller it'll just give you more space to work on the screen without changing your font size so the font size is still default and display size is now small you can make it large so let's see how much free gigabytes of memory we've got on the internal storage now i have installed a couple of apps i did click some pictures and saved it onto the internal memory so anyways that should give you an idea on how much free space you get uh so 12.31 gigabytes is used out of 32 gigabytes so let's wait for this so about 4 gigabytes of apps 300 megs for images uh, there are no videos there are no audios and about 7 gigabytes for system and there are some junk other files 1.54 gigabytes and obviously there is uh, an SD card inside the phone and our RAM usage is averaging around 1 gigabyte and 883 megabytes is still free so not bad this phone is completely usable anyways that brings me to the end of this video guys thank you for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys so thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time